Well, <clears throat> I didn't see a lot about this yesterday, but I was celebrating my birthday, so there was that. Anyway, apparently Trump is, uh, god damn, dude. <laughs> I've never seen anybody who is uh, more willing to put themselves at legal risk than this guy. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. <clears throat> Writer tells jury in lawsuit trial, Donald Trump raped me. Okay. New York AP. A writer suing Donald Trump took the stand Wednesday to tell jurors that the future president raped her after she accompanied him into a department store fitting room in 1996. I'm here because Donald Trump raped me. And when I wrote about it, he said it didn't happen. He lied, shattered my reputation, and I'm here to try and get my life back. Eugene Carroll testified. I've met several men that will flatly lie to your face about how they've treated you, whether it be rape, whether it um, be infidelity, whether it be um, just anything. I mean, it's, it's such a weird quality that I have predominantly seen in men, but I've seen it in some women too. Just this flat lie to your face bullshit. Uh. From afar, Trump repeated his insistence that Carol's allegations are fiction, writing on his social media site that the case is a made-up scam and more. His comments prompted the judge to warn Trump's lawyers that he could bring more legal problems upon himself. Trump hasn't attended the trial thus far, but his lawyers said Tuesday it's still possible he could decide to testify. Some of the um, live streamers who have been covering this story. Um, I think it was uh, the fellow who's on with Brian Tyler Cohen said that if he doesn't show up, the, the plaintiff's attorney will constantly point to the chair, the empty chair, and that it will, even though the judge can instruct to the jury that um, his non-appearance should not be taken against him, it will be. It can be symbolically noted throughout the trial that he didn't take the time to actually come. And um, so even if they're ordered, you know, people are people, they have feelings, they're going to see the situation and they're not gonna take kindly to him not showing up. The trial comes as Trump again seeks the Republican nomination for president and weeks after he pleaded guilty, not guilty, to unrelated criminal charges that involve payments made to silence a porn actor who said she had a sexual encounter with him. I don't know how Republicans can look at all of this and be like, hmm, there's nothing there. Really? <laughs> Carol, 79 has said she crossed paths with Trump at the re revolving door to Bergdorf Goodman on an unspecified Thursday evening in spring 1996. At the time, she was writing a long-running advice column in Elle magazine. Trump was a real estate magnate and social figure in New York. She has said he asked her advice about selecting a gift for a woman and she went along thinking the experience would be funny. According to Carol, they ended up in the a lingerie department, joked with each other about who should try on a bodysuit and went to a dressing room. Oh God. <sighs> I don't, I, I, there's no way I would get, I mean, that was a bad decision, obviously, but like she, I guess, felt comfortable enough that he, oh my God. 
Then she alleges Trump slammed her against a wall, yanked down her tights, and raped her while she struggled against him. She has said she finally need him off her and fled. This is very similar to a, another um, woman who almost got raped by him, who fortunately somebody walked in and interrupted it. But they were trying to throw, because um, she wants to testify in this case too, to corroborate that this is in fact how he behaves. And um, Trump's attorney, Taka Pino or whatever his name is, um, tried to get that thrown out saying that because um, he only got so far as kissing and groping, that's not considered uh, relative testimony. <laughs> All right, Trump 76 has said he wasn't at the store with Carol and had no clue who she was when she first aired the story publicly in a 2019 memoir and accompanying magazine excerpt. As court was about to begin Wednesday, Trump vented his feelings about it on his true social platform. Okay, so this is where it gets bad. <laughs> this is where it gets bad. Among other remarks, he called Carol's lawyer a political operative and alluded to a DNA issue that Judge Lewis A. Kaplan has ruled can't be a part of the case. I don't know if this video is really related. Let's see. Talk. This is AP News Minute. U.S. officials say Afghanistan's Taliban forces killed the no, Islamic is State group. Okay. This is a fraudulent and false story. Witch hunt, Trip, Trump wrote. Lawyers for Carol. Oh, did it skip up? Yeah, it did. Okay. Laurels for Carol, um, whose suit includes claims that Trump previously defamed her by publicly calling her co case a hoax, scam, lie, and a complete con job, mentioned his new statement to Kaplan. He wasn't pleased. What seems to be the case is that your client is basically endeavoring certainly to speak to his quote unquote public, but more troubling, the jury in this case about stuff that has no business being spoken about, the judge told Trump's lawyers. He called Trump's post a public statement that on the face of it seems entirely inappropriate. Oh, I did get his name right, didn't I? Taka Pino. Pina. Maybe slightly wrong. Trump attorney Joe Takapina noted that jurors are told not to follow any news or online commentary about the case, but he said he would ask Trump to refrain from any further posts about the, this case. They are, but like they still have friends that they talk to. <laughs> they still, like, all of their friends and family are going to know about this. I hope you're more successful, Kaplan said, adding that Trump may or may not be tampering with a new source of potential liability. God, I, I, you know, they give them way too many warnings. He's been doing this for months during all of these lawsuits. You guys are giving them the way he, he, he does not deserve this many warnings. Carol's federal lawsuit seeks unspecified damages and a retraction of his alleged defamatory comments. The suit was filed under a New York law that temporarily lets decades old sexual abuse claims go to civil court. She never pursued criminal charges. I mean, you know why women don't pursue criminal charges? Number one, we don't trust that the police are actually going to help us. Number two, we are afraid of the repercussions of making claims. Number three, we get to faint when we do put forth our claims. I mean, I certainly wasn't raped, but I have absolutely been sexually harassed. And when I came forward, I still haven't felt like I still have repercussions from that. I still have repercussions from that.
The Associated Press typically does not name people who say they have been sexually assaulted unless they come forward publicly, as Carol has done. Okay, I think that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. But you know, I'm getting sick and tired of men and their fucking behavior and their lying asses. I'm getting sick of all the goddamn lies. And if they're willing to lie to one person, they're willing to lie to everybody.